The study that we performed is essentially looking for an association between press gaining patient satisfaction scores and the prescribing of opioids or the administration of opioids by emergency physicians while patients are in the emergency department. We looked at this because right now there is an epidemic of opioid-related death. And when we identify modifiable factors, things that we can change in order to curb that epidemic, one of the issues that comes up frequently is responsible opioid prescribing. How do we get physicians to be more selective about when they prescribe opioids or when they administer opioids? In multiple conferences and multiple meetings where we try to teach physicians about responsible opioid prescribing, one of the obstacles that they frequently mention is patient satisfaction and the idea that they will be um, chastised by their administration or potentially receive less compensation based on the fact that their patient satisfaction scores are low. Given that this is a concern to many physicians when we ask them to prescribe less pain medication, we decided to study this more rigorously. What we found in this particular study is that when we look at press gainy patient satisfaction scores, which are one of the most commonly used metrics for measuring patient satisfaction, we found no association between how much opioid was administered in the emergency department and overall patient satisfaction. Based on the findings that there was no association between opioid administration in the emergency department and patient satisfaction, emergency physicians should act in the best interest of the patient when they're prescribing opioids or administering opioids in the sense that the administration of opioids doesn't make your patient more satisfied with their care. In fact, we suspect other drivers such as wait time, nurse and physician communication play a far greater role than administering opioids.